Welcome back to Inside City Hall. In a few years, dams from Canada will be powering homes in Queens with the help of a new renewable energy facility that opens next week. Our Juan Manuel Benitez got an exclusive tour of the Con Edison substation and joins us now with more. Good evening, Juan. Good evening, Errol. This is just some of the work that is happening behind the scenes to update our power infrastructure and lower carbon emissions. A first um, early piece of action in the clean energy transition. A few days before its official opening, we got a first look at a new electrical facility by the East River in Astoria. A nearby highly polluting power plant used when electricity demand spikes in the hottest days of the summer will be closing next week. We have different substations. And Team Coley says this new facility will help ensure reliability. This allows us to more effectively and more flexibly move the power throughout the city. As president and CEO of Con Edison, Coley is in charge of meeting his company's goal of delivering 100% clean power to all customers by 2040. This new substation is one of the many steps to take to get there. It might just look like moving dirt and putting equipments in, but we're really shaping the future of New York. With the ability to carry 300 megawatts of power, this facility took two years to build and cost $275 million. Coley admits customers are the ones paying for green infrastructure projects like this one. You can think about it as a mortgage. This equipment will serve this area and the customers for 40 or 50 years. So the Con Ed customer will pay for 150th a year as they sort of uh, enjoy the benefits of this infrastructure. Demand for electricity is set to increase in the next few decades as the real estate and transportation sectors progressively electrify. This type of infrastructure will be required to meet those needs. But for now, 89% of the city's electricity comes from burning fossil fuels until new renewable sources of energy reach New York City. Last year, Governor Hochul approved a plan to import electricity coming from hydropower plants in Canada. This substation will be ready to carry that energy into Queens homes from Astoria to Corona. The Champlain Hudson Express project is now under construction and is expected to be in operation by the spring of 2026. The city will also be getting wind power from Long Island in the near future. Conet just received approval to build another substation in Brooklyn to facilitate the arrival of that energy. Another major renewable energy project is Clean Path. It will be feeding the city's grid with solar power in the coming years, Errol. So it sounds like two things are going on at the same time, which is that um, we're getting clean energy from different sources, hydropower, mm -hmm. solar power, but we're also, we also need a lot more, right, in total. That's right. We don't have a lot coming in yet. 89% uh, of the city's grid is uh, fossil fuels. So we are waiting for that hydropower in the next three years from Canada, also waiting for solar power uh, coming from upstate New York and wind power coming from Long Island, New York, New Jersey uh, bays. So we are still in a really bad spot when it comes to the city's uh, grid because demand is going up, but we are still powering that uh, grid with uh, fossil fuels for mm -hmm. the most part. But this is the work that needs to happen right now, infrastructure little by little, so we can meet those aggressive goals that the state and the city have. Now, Con Edison, they don't necessarily generate energy so much as they transmit it at this point, right? In the state of New York, uh, mostly they only deliver uh, the energy, even mm -hmm. though they are trying to get some permits to really have some solar, solar fat farms in New York State. They haven't gotten uh, there yet but they are trying to get that permit so far right now they're just delivering the power for the most part and so their goal or the, i guess their legally required goal or target mm -hmm. is within 17 years to have most of it coming from renewable sources right and that aligns with the goals that the state of new york has and they are extremely ambitious goals and those goals to meet them that's going to require a lot of money and that money is going to come from taxpayers and from uh, customers we are the ones paying for this green transition a transition that experts say we can really avoid at this point okay our grandchildren i guess will thank us okay. thanks very much juan thank you we're going to take a short break now when we come back we will bring you the final part of our special series that examines the administration for children's services it takes a look at how new jersey overhauled its child welfare system Stay with us.